Hey, welcome back friends. I'm here in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and I've got a really unique floor plan to show you guys this morning. And uh, well, you may not be watching this in the morning, will you? But anyway, it's this unit right here, Transcend 315BH. This is gonna check a lot of boxes for folks. It's very unique. It's something you have not seen in a travel trailer or maybe any other trailer for that matter. And yeah, we've had a Transcend before. Uh, Grand Design sent us a, a prototype Transcend to, uh, to camp in and give some feedback on several months ago. And we enjoyed the unit. We, we thought they're great weekend units. Uh, this one is maybe an extended stay version. So I'm gonna show you around the exterior, then I'll show you around the interior. I hope you stick around. Okay, I'm quite certain you've seen enough of my face. Here she is. I, I like the, the scheme, the color scheme of the Transcend. And yeah, she's a big girl. So I will put all of the specs as we're walking around the exterior. You'll have it up on your screen. But yeah, this is a big girl. This is, uh, this is no baby. This is three quarter ton territory, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. You got your, uh, the dual 20 pound takes up front. You've got your power jack up front. It's like standard in all grand designs there is your battery rack coming to this side pretty good fast through storage on this one you know our 250 or uh, we had a 251 bh and it didn't have near this much storage and uh, you know solar also comes standard on these units there's your your charge controller right there uh, i believe 165 watt panel up top but you could certainly add to that you're gonna have a 12 volt fridge inside we'll we'll see that real soon Aluminum sided, stick and tin as they call it in the market. And this is a very unique stick and tin. It's not nearly as deep as a lot of the others. When I had our Imagine, I mean our, our Transcend, I found it very easy to clean. I was surprised how easy it was to clean. I know sometimes that's a, that's a complaint that uh, the stick and tins are harder to clean, but this stick and tin is a much different uh, pattern design than the traditional stick and tins. You've got your water heater right here. Here's your black tank flush. There's a, your logo, your furnace. This is a 50 amp unit. You got a couple of uh, interesting windows here. You'll see why real soon. And then you've got a rear slide. That's gonna be your bunk room. We'll see that in just a minute. We're super tight here at the show, so I can't get you all the way around. But yeah, you can see that slide right there. Here we are looking forward. Obviously your kitchen is going to be here because there is your, your oven vent, magnetic latches, and I don't know if they're called latches, holds I guess you'd call them. Coming around this side, there she is. You've got awning here, oh the sun is killing us isn't it, there we go. Awning right here and then awning on the slide as well so you're not missing any awning space from uh, from that slide being on the campsite. Here's the storage from this side. Just a you know, big pass-through storage. Nice big pass-through storage. And again, magnetic holes up here. All right, moving on in. Again, you can see nice big campsite window right there. I am way too fat to get through that. So we'll have to hold off on that one. You get the Westlake tires and you get the, the, the black steelies on the transcends. Those steelies are made in the U.S. I can appreciate that. Aluminum steps. Those come in handy at night. And here, over here, I don't want to miss this. You got your coax cable there and your plug-in right there. The thought process is being, you have your little TV right here. Let's go inside. All right, as soon as we start going in, you're going to realize how unique this floor plan is. You've got this very cool U-shaped kitchen. Tons of counter space. And let me back you out a little bit and there's your living area so you've got uh, your fridge here 12 volt fridge beer gun 12 volt fridge you got a little storage area right here got a big u-shaped dinette that converts into a bed you talk about sleeping you've got tons of sleeping in this unit big windows over here so you've got a window there window there obviously the fridge is here so but you do have some campsite windows there You've got a nice little uh, coffee, what we would use as a coffee bar. Uh, our friends over at Less Junk More Journey, they call it a taco bar. Same difference, 
but yeah there's a plenty of storage here it's just a very unique floor I just it's gonna check a lot of boxes for some folks that's a nice cabinetry down here oh that's a nice big open area there that goes all the way over cool all right that could certainly come in handy for sure and then when you look across from your dinette you're looking at your entertainment you've got storage across the top nice big TV and then storage down here as well yeah that's that's big storage that's probably at least 10 inches deep and all the way across a good gosh I don't know eight feet maybe six feet eight feet and then you can see all this I mean look look at all this counter space all of 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 that counter space I mean counter space McGee in here here's a good shot of the kitchen I'm digging that kitchen I do not know if you can access the fridge when it's closed I bet that is why this is rounded off I bet you can uh, if you know whether or not you can leave in the comment section here is a nice farm sink right here big farm sink so got your nice faucets there nice fixtures all right let's go to the bunk room thermostat USBs regular plugs here's your bunk room so you got a nice big bunk here this has got to be between uh, maybe a full-size bunk actually this looks like a full-size bunk it's definitely wider than a twin and then you've got a smaller bunk up top both of these guys have windows window in the back tons of drawer storage I mean you could especially if you're just going for, if you're just going for a weekend you could bring a small army with you um, on this side so you've got the pop-up bunk right here so this obviously you can see the latch right there uh, this will pop up and then you have this nice trifold sofa so it's got tons and tons of sleeping availability in this unit coming back through very unique floor plan this is extraordinary this is very unique I, you don't see them like this you do not have a walkthrough bathroom you do have a bathroom to your side so some of those that don't like walk through bathrooms this is going to check that box for you good size shower and you got nice storage here in the bathroom you know transcend does a pretty darn good job with storage in bathrooms they really do even that top shelf right there i mean you'd be surprised what you could put up there rolls of toilet paper or whatever so good storage down here yeah that's a pretty good size there's your owner's manual and all that good stuff job on the bathroom transcend and then coming in here to the bedroom you got a window there hanging lockers oh no you know what these actually aren't hanging lockers these are shelves and I love that and I'm gonna show you why they're not hanging lockers here in just a second so you can see those shelves right there that's how I roll when I camp I don't hang anything up I don't you know I fold my stuff up and just throw it in there because we're weekending you know it's not a big deal but uh, yeah so I like that you still got your shelf down here USBs regular plugs storage up top that's great here's why you don't have hanging lockers here boom more storage over here which is I mean yeah that's this is nice this type of unit this is cool and look how deep it is I mean it's legit hanging storage there hangers will definitely fit in this unit You've got some open storage right there and then you've got your drawers of course right here so yeah guys let's walk through this unique kitchen again oh hooks you know i love some hooks guys yes sir but let's walk through the kitchen again and show you this bad boy one more time i think this is a cool floor plan that's going to check a lot of boxes for folks let me know what you think in the comment section below give us some feedback and uh, Grand Design would like to hear it as well. I hope you find this video useful. And as always, consider subscribing. See you guys.